What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about Gorilla Ammunition. More specifically, their 77 grain Sierra Match King loads. A few months ago, probably about two months ago, I was looking for some ammunition to test out. And as you guys know from the AR build projects, this uh, SBR DMR setup that we came up with, um, we had to use some ammunition to uh, to test it out. I was looking around and I, I, I just stumbled honestly upon this in some Facebook um, link. And I said to myself, huh, Gorilla Ammunition. Let's see how good this stuff really is, right? Uh, Cause sometimes you'll have companies who are marketed really well, which Gorilla Ammunition is marketed well. It's a very catchy, you know, box it's in. And sometimes it just doesn't perform. This is the complete opposite of that. This is marketed very well and it performs very well. So we'll talk about that today. Now when you're looking for ammunition, particularly in a precision rifle, what you're looking for is consistency. The consistency in which uh, the ammunition is loaded. And that's the difference between, you know, on stuff that's matched and stuff that's not match. Uh, stuff that's not match will probably have, you know, a more uh, bigger tolerance on the amount of powder it uses. So you'll have, you know, one shot here, one shot there, and it'll kind of be off a little bit. When you look at match stuff, you're going to have more consistently loaded ammunition. And that's the difference mainly between, you know, match grade and not match grade. So what I wanted to look for in this grilling ammunition was how you know what's the best it can do now granted i'm not a precision shooter this is a precision gun uh, but i am definitely far from being a precision shooter that being said the groupings i've seen with gorilla ammunition compared to black hills uh, which is basically what everything else is is um, you know measured upon for the most part uh, has been very very good i've been able to hit sub moa at 100 yards with this rifle uh, consistently um, and in my groupings you know the last four groupings i've had are uh, you know 0.65 inches, 0.98 inches, 1.25 inches, I believe that was due to the wind, and uh, 0.93 inches um, in diameter. So you're looking at sub MOA uh, and easily sub MOA with this uh, ammunition. So let's talk about how I test out the, uh, the ammunition. I do three round groups, I do it with this uh, precision rifle right here we built, 18 inch barrel, rifle length, uh, gas system, you're looking at a uh, SWFA Super Sniper 3x9 uh, scope, and 100 yards. So that's basically same gun, um, same magazines, just basic GI mags. Um, that's how I'm testing out this, these, uh, these rounds. Now, when it comes to the Grilly ammunition, it really has performed exceptionally well. Compared to Black Hills ammunition, which pretty much everything else is geared towards or pretty much the, everything else is measured by, this Grilly ammunition has performed exceptionally well. It's been consistent and based on the groupings, these are some groupings just from uh, yesterday. You can see there that's a 0.98 inch group. Here's a uh, one and a quarter inch group. Um, it was definitely windy out yesterday. And here's the last of the day. Now, as you can see, comparison wise, here's my hand. So you can see how small it is at 100 yards. Um, like I said, by, by no means am I a precision shooter. I'm sure someone could probably shoot better than this. But as you can see, this is a 0.65 inch in diameter group right here. Uh, very small uh, group right there. That's a two. Now granted it's only two, but you can see that it's definitely capable of shooting consistently. You know, through going through probably about, I don't know, 300 rounds now with this stuff, uh, and really just checking it for consistency. Nate Murr um, has also seen the consistency. When, when he goes out there, he's really impressed with this stuff as well. And you know, what are you getting over, uh, you know, like Black Hills? Um, you're getting pretty much the same stuff. You know, Black Hills, this Gorilla ammunition comes within a tenth of the Black Hills as far as me shooting the rifle. Um, and like I said, everything's the same. I, I shoot off of a uh, backpack and I shoot using a sand sock. Um, that's how I shoot. And so everything's done the same. I use the same bench, uh, same range, and that's how I test ammunition out. I don't really get into it too, too detailed as long as what I'm doing is the same, then the consistency is gonna shine through. Um, as far as how good of a shooter I am and what groups I put down range. So when you're looking at ammunition and you're comparing it and you're trying to see, you know, how does it compare to each other? Uh, there's a there's a few calculations I like to do. I like to do average. So what's the average diameter of this ammunition uh, as far as, you know, how consistent is it going as far as the average diameter? Um, like I said, the Gorilla ammunition is, you know, point between 0.90 of an inch, 0.90 inches, and 0.95 inches is basically where I'm at when I'm shooting this ammunition with this gun uh, at 100 yards. When you look at the standard deviation, okay, and the standard deviation is a very important point to look at when it comes to particularly uh, the difference between groups. So this three round group and that three round group and this three round group, you know, what's the standard difference between the amounts, okay? And with this Gorilla ammunition, we're looking at 0.17 
to 0.18 inches of difference between each group, uh, which is right there with Black Hills. Um, Black Hills is 0 0.140 inches, uh, you know, difference between each of the groups for the most part. So Gorilla Ammunition is very consistent. It's loaded very consistently, like I said, and you know, it's very much a quality load. Uh, the only downside I see with it is the price. You're looking at $25 for 20 rounds. Uh, Black Hills is about $53 for 50 rounds. So it's, it's a little bit more expensive than Black Hills, um, but what you're gonna get is a quality uh, round. And you know, like I said, the thing I was thinking about is, you know, is this really gonna perform? Um, usually stuff marketed, uh, really well or it looks really cool. It doesn't perform well, but I've been very impressed with Gorilla Ammunition um, Whatever they're doing over there as far as building these uh, these uh, rounds is uh, is right on and uh, I've been very impressed with this round uh, to date. So in closing, you cannot go wrong with Gorilla Ammunition in my opinion. I put 400 rounds down range of this exact um, ammunition and it's consistent um, I do not see anything that's inconsistent with any of the groups I've put down there for the 400 rounds I've shot. Um, nothing has been inconsistent. Uh, now granted, um, through this being a brand new rifle, the first probably 50 rounds, um, you know, they're gonna be a little bit, you know, not, uh, not perfect, but you know, once this rifle was broken in, you know, 100, you know, 300 good rounds through this with, uh, with Gorilla Ammunition, um, after that point of breaking the barrel in a little bit, uh, this has been a consistent performer, and that's basically what I put into the Excel spreadsheet from around 100 to, to 400 is what's in the sheet. I don't have anything from when this uh, barrel was, um, you know, was brand, brand new. So this stuff definitely works. It works really well, and I really don't think you'll, uh, you'll be let down. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you guys have uh, used Gorilla Ammunition in the past, go ahead and uh, put a comment down below, or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later.